A photographer says he watched Utah's now famous monolith fall to the ground last weekend. The structure captured worldwide attention after being discovered in a remote area southwest of Moab. How it ended up there is still a mystery. But tonight we know how it vanished. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher spoke to a photographer who shared what a group of people said as they hauled the monolith away in pieces. Ross Bernards goes on adventures for a living. I'm an adventure and outdoor lifestyle photographer. That's what I do for a living. So my job depends on me finding unique and cool places. The Colorado photographer and canyoneering expert often finds himself in some of the most remote spots in Utah. When a middle of nowhere place southwest of Moab found itself in the middle of an international monolith mystery last week. I wanted to go out there and try light painting with my drone. On Friday, Ross made the several hour trek out. They ended up with the monolith all to themselves for about an hour for nighttime pictures until some other visitors came walking up. There's four of them. Two of them stand back, two of them walk forward and walk up to the, the monolith and start pushing on a little bit. And then one of them turns to my friends who are a little bit further up the canyon next to it, uh, where I was a little further back, and said, um, hope you got your photos, and then just gave it a couple of big pushes, and it like just leaned over. And that's when the rest of them came up, and all four of them pushed it over to the one side and then pushed it back to the other side, and it just fell straight onto the ground. Just like that. Ross watched the monolith that captivated and mystified people across the globe topple over. Right after it had fallen over and made a loud thud, they said, one of them said, um, this, is, this is why you don't leave trash in the desert. And as they loaded it up, were loading it up and walking away, they just said, leave no trace and left. Fast forward to the next morning, the message from the monolith demolishers on his mind Ross would find he was hardly the only person who set out to see this strange metal sculpture in person. It was just, you could see the rope from the dust just coming up, and you could just see car after car coming and going. I mean, we probably saw 70 or 80 different cars there. Cars and people everywhere, he says, hiking all over the place, even wandering up the wrong canyon, off trail miles up a high clearance 4x4 road. It, it made me understand exactly why these people did it. I mean, one of the reasons that we didn't stop them was we all agreed with them. For someone who says he practices leave no trace, an expert only in expert terrain, he's glad it came down. And for anyone who is buying into the conspiracy theories about how and why the mystery metal monument disappeared, let's set the record straight. Aliens were not involved in any way, shape or form in this thing. They had nothing to do with it nor was it some secret government project. None of that had anything to do with it. It was clearly an art piece by someone. An art piece with a wild whirlwind week, now part of the desert's past. Leave the art to places where art should be and let Mother Nature have her space for art. Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah. Well, the monolith isn't the only one making headlines tonight. Overseas in Romania, Another mysterious monolith has been found. TMZ reporting it was found on a hill near the Romanian city of Pietra, Nemes. Daily Mail also reports it's a few meters from a well-known fortress landmark. Unlike the one found in Utah, we're told the monolith in Romania appears to be made of several pieces and has wavy markings on the side.